The question that's motivated my scientific career is really asking the question, why do we look the way we do? And in my particular case, we're looking for ancient events, ancient oh, moments God. in the history of life that are captured inside our body. Yara came to the lab with a whole new idea, which is try to find one of these early stages in the assembly of our bodies over evolutionary time. And that was understanding the origin of teeth and bone. So I actually came here to University of Chicago to study the earliest vertebrates. I'm interested in the evolution of bone, the evolution of teeth, and how these early tissues showed up in the fossil record and how that relates to our own biology. So actually this started by me thinking that I knew what the earliest vertebrate was. We thought they were early vertebrates in the Ordovician. As I started to dig into the literature, I realized there was this little known animal called an Atolepis. And I start asking around, does anyone have any of these specimens? They're supposed to be much earlier, about uh, 50 million years earlier than the known earliest vertebrates, especially in North America. All these samples that scientists from all over the US had sent me, I thought I was scanning the earliest teeth and the earliest bones. But as soon as this data started to come in, it looked a little strange. Why would this arthropod have bumps all over it that look like the same tissue that we make our own teeth out of. What could possibly have driven this convergence in such a deep level, at a tissue level, in structure? And our hypothesis was, well, these animals were living in muck and they needed to sense their environment, these arthropods. And the same thing with the earliest vertebrates, these fish that had teeth all over their skeleton and they also lived in the shallows, these murky shallows. They also needed to sense their environment. We know our own teeth are sensitive, could these early teeth have also been sensitive and driven the convergence between the two tissues? So this set up some interesting hypotheses. Did our teeth originally rise inside the mouth and that armor is secondarily you know, advanced or derived on the outside of the body, so inside out? Or did teeth come from the outside of the body and now land inside? Turns out, the more we look at the fossil record, the more we put those fossils in an evolutionary sequence, the more we see that the outside-in hypothesis is likely correct, that our teeth originally evolved as the armor on the outside of the body of the earliest fish. So Yara found that there are great similarities between our teeth and the armor of these ancient fish, right? So to test what they're doing, we looked at living creatures. Because creatures that are alive today, there are some fish alive today that have tooth-like structures on the outside of their body. And so one of the big quests became to understand is what's going on with them? You know, can we understand more? Because we have more data on living creatures than we do on the fossil forms. So this is where we started to grow our own fish here in the lab. And we picked a particular group of fish that still has teeth on the outside of the body to test if they even had nerves there. If they had nerves there around the tooth, this would be the first step to actually having sensitive dentition outside the mouth. Some of the animals we worked on were sharks, skates, and catfish. Even just the little sucker mouth catfish that you have in your aquarium today has actually teeth covering its entire body. But are they sensitive? That's what we wanted to find out. And so they were easy to keep. We basically set up a few tanks, some filters, and got them breeding here at UChicago. So once we had the embryos, we were able to clear them, make the little embryo clear, and actually stain them with fluorescent dyes. This allowed us to actually see where the nerves were going, and we could track the nerves into the teeth that are outside the body. So once we knew that these teeth were innervated, there are nerves going to the teeth on the outside of the mouth in all these different kinds of fish, we then knew that there's a very good likelihood that these were innervated, and likely the very first teeth on the outside of the mouth in early vertebrates were innervated as well. We've been wondering, why would we chew with these painful things? Why are they so sensitive in the first place? And it turns out, maybe this is a leftover from one of our most ancient ancestors, these early vertebrates that were covered in teeth. Sometimes scientific research takes you to very mind-blowing places. And at the end of the day, after all these scans, after all this work, the realization is that our teeth originally arose on the outside of the body of some of the earliest fish Every time you've noticed that you have sensitive teeth, you could thank these ancient fish living, swimming in ancient oceans hundreds of millions of years ago.